Thanks for being here today. The Institute for Local Self-Reliance's commitment to democratic renewable energy has produced remarkable results for communities all over the world. We've been talking about decentralized energy production for decades, and it is catching on. We're making a lasting impact on communities, and we want to share some of the highlights. So our story, for those of you unfamiliar with ILSR, begins in May of 1974 in Washington, D.C. ILSR began with the concept that economies work best when the rules that are in place are made by the people who will feel their impact. Sounds simple enough, right? Throughout the years, we've grown to become seven intertwined but uniquely different initiatives, including our Democratic Energy Initiative. In this century, our reporting, maps, and infographics have drawn national attention. We published Energy Self-Reliant States, an atlas that showed that 60% of states could meet all of their internal electricity needs from renewable energy. You can view our whole history and some really great 70s pictures at our website, www.ilsr.org. Click on the 40th anniversary tab. We've become thought leaders, and leading energy and environmental publications use our research to reach, teach, and inspire audiences across the United States, and especially in the Midwest, where we've made our home. We've passed important climate policies, highlighted key success stories, and demonstrated the power of local climate action. Some of our policy successes include the Minnesota Solar Standard, driving utilities to the bargaining table as a lead rabble-rouser for the Minneapolis Energy Options Campaign. And we will keep at it. Our policy ideas and practical examples are changing the way communities think about their energy future and encouraging them to take ownership. Farmers Electric Cooperative in Southeast Iowa has become one of the most reliable, successful solar utilities in the nation. Feed-in tariff proposals are advancing in Oregon and Arkansas, pushed by our allies. Community electricity aggregation has expanded significantly. We researched, promoted, and presented this policy at a national conference in 2012. Now, 100 communities in Illinois and several elsewhere have used their local authority to include clean energy in their portfolios. That is a win for us and a win for local economies. Thank you, of course. Our work has set the stage and started conversations in communities throughout the Midwest, and we're reaching a tipping point in getting rural communities to take on renewable energy and climate change. This is remarkable, and we could not have done it without your support. But we have a lot of work to do. More communities need to hear that they have the power to change their local economy by taking charge of their energy futures. Thanks for listening. We are all over the web, so please contact us, like us, and keep in touch. And if you'd like to look at this Prezi in greater depth, there will be a link to the presentation at www.ilsr.org. Have a great day.